Okay, this is Pepper Jack. You'll notice a cheese theme on some of our dogs this week. You missed, there it is. Pepper Jack is a rat terrier chihuahua type of a small little guy. That's right, Pepper Jack. He's very young, only 10 or 11 months old. Yes, he's a good boy. So he's still learning stuff and figuring out that people are pretty okay. Especially when they bring treats by. He's a big eater of the dog treats here. It's a good boy. He was just neutered, so you'll notice the cone of shame on this poor little guy. He's gotten used to it fairly well. He's a good boy. He is ready to go out the door. He's microchipped. He's had all his vaccines. He's neutered. So if you are ready for an active little terrier in your house, come on by and meet Pepper Jack. That's a good girl, Julia. This is Julia. She's also a young and active gal. We think we've got her a home. It sounds like somebody has come in and decided she's the perfect fit for them. But there's always the chance that something won't work out. You can come by and meet her if you think you need a husky in your life. They are active and smart and athletic. It's a good girl. And I'm sure she would make short work of a short fence if you happen to have that. But if you have a fence yard and you're an active person, some of our active dogs might be the right fit for you. Good girl, Julia. I know you're just a little bit of a goofball. I know, it's very sweet. Oh, tell me about it. There you go. One more snack for you. Good girl. This is Grasshopper, and Grasshopper is our dog of the week this week. This is Grasshopper. Grasshopper is a neutered male cattle dog mix of some kind. He's about five years old and he has great whiskers. He's a very good dog. <laughs> Are you gonna try all the tricks? Okay, here's some more. All right. <laughs> uh, he is probably gonna need to go to a home without any other dogs. He's pretty selective about his doggy friends. Uh, no cats. And kids that are older, 13 and over, uh, the teenagers, would probably be okay for this guy. He is very, very active. As a cattle dog, uh, we would expect that. He's also very smart. This is the kind of dog uh, that isn't going to just have a walk around the block or five minutes of fetch in the backyard. He's going to need a job uh, of any kind, whether you're a runner or you want to get involved in dog sports like agility or obedience. Something that will keep him active and his mind engaged is going to be very good. A bored cattle dog is never a good idea. I like to keep them entertained somehow, whether it's with games or, yeah, right, training or exercise. But he would sure love a very, very active family. He's especially good if somebody liked sports or maybe was running. Training for a marathon or 5Ks or anything that you do, uh, but regular exercise will be important with any of the herding breeds, and that includes our little cattle dog here. This is Mila. She is a German Shepherd. Good girl. Approximately six years old. She's a good girl. Yes, she is. That's right. She needs children over nine. Good girl. Uh, she's selective of her doggy friends, so if you have a dog and you're looking for another one, they would have to meet ahead of time, make sure they get along. She's not a farm dog, so we are not gonna have her placed with any livestock or cats. That's just way too much fun for an active German Shepherd. But if you do have the right lifestyle, Mila is a good girl. I know, she is all German Shepherd. Yeah, that's right, good girl. Sit. Mila, sit. Go sit. That's a good girl, there you go. That's a very sweet girl. This is Chubbs. There you go, buddy. I know you like your snacks. He's about two years old. That's a good dog, yes it is. He's very sweet. We have him uh, for Kids 13 and over, he would be an appropriate match. And he is also selective with his dog friends. Yes, yeah, right, he's, he thinks he's a big dog, but he will try to tell another dog what they should be doing. So you just want to make sure personalities match. 
that's a good girl, a good boy, Chubbs. He's already neutered and ready to go. Yes. You have your microchip already, don't you? Yes, you do. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Go kiss it. <laughs> yeah. This is Cricket. She's about two years old. Already spayed and microchipped and ready to go. She's a shy gal. It does take her some time to warm up to new people. So wary of strangers is definitely one you want to be paying attention to with her. She would prefer a quiet, consistent house. Yes, she would. Are you telling me about it? Good girl. That's right. So if you do come by to visit her, yes. Make sure you give yourself time to spend with her and take some treats in. She does like her treats. Yes, she does. That's a good girl. Are you ready? You want one more? Okay, here we go. Good girl. That's right, tell me all about it. I don't know, here's your cheese. Your cheese is good stuff. Good girl. I know. <laughs> one more piece of cheese? Okay, there you go. I'm going to show you are some of our lost and found dogs. These guys were found uh, out in the country near Oregon City on Ridge Road, which is kind of in the middle of nowhere. There aren't really any houses or anything. You don't want the cheese? Okay. What about the hot dog? Would the hot dog be a better bet? No hot dog? Maybe. Maybe. So if you recognize these two little guys, they're awfully small to be wandering around by themselves out in, <laughs> out in the woods. Here's one more piece for you. I'll drop it down there. Oh, you want one too? I'll have to put it in there for you. There you go. Now you can decide if you want your hot dog or not. They're rather large little, little dogs or a little, little extra weight on them. So they can't go very fast, but they, they would love to go home if anybody recognizes them out in the country near Oregon City. Good girls. They are both females. I don't know, probably 8 to 12 years old. Yes, I know. That's pretty good hot dogs. Yeah. Mm, good stuff. <laughs> this dog was found actually about two months ago. Somebody uh, picked her up at a campsite in Welch's. They were not able to find an owner for her. We don't know where she would have come from. Uh, she was wearing when she came in. Uh, an orange collar and a gray harness and didn't have any microchip or tanks. But she's quite scared here in the shelter, would really like to go home. So if anybody recognizes this little dog, it's okay, sweetie. I know you're scared. It's okay. Good girl. So this is an older Jack Russell Terrier, probably even older than 10 years old. No microchip and no tags found on Kilkenny Road and Stafford Road in Lake Oswego. So if you recognize this little old man, he sure would like to go home. That's a very good dog. Oh, good stuff. Hi. <laughs> He's a spunky guy, even at his age. And one more. You want to try a hot dog? Oh, I dropped it. I know, I can't quite get it in there far enough for you. There's your treat. There you go. That's a good boy. I know. lost and found guy was found in Wilsonville. He had a microchip, so we think his name might be Rocky. Yes, it's a good boy. We haven't had anybody come forward to say they've lost their dog yet. He was brought in on the 2nd of July, so he's been here for a little while now. Good boy. He's about three years old. He just had a, a black collar, a black rope collar on him when we found him. 
with those microchip that didn't have any current information on it, so we haven't found an owner. Seems like a nice enough guy, and he would love to go home as well. Good boy. Yes, that's nice. Here's one more piece. You're such a polite taker of treats. That's very nice of you. Okay, this little Chihuahua mix uh, was found up at North Fork Road and Highway 224. Um, she was found in a box, and uh, she gave birth a day later, and then she was brought here. So she has three tiny little puppies in there with her. If you recognize this little long-haired chihuahua, please let us know who she might belong to, or let them know. She seems to be a sweet little gal and is doing a great job of momming these babies, but we want to make sure that uh, if she's got a home that she may have wandered off from before she gave birth, that she gives, gets back to that home. Just a good girl. I know you're such a good mom.